The group consisting of youngsters said they are pained at the prolonged strike of the judiciary workers. They said the situation has negatively affected the administration of justice in Edo State and called on the state governor to urgently address the situation. The judiciary, they've been on strike for over two months now. And it's like nobody's talking about it. And the effect it's having on the child justice system in the state is enormous. These children have been abused daily. 40 years to 12 years old is so unreasonable. And right now they are in police station, they are there for over two months. If you get to tell more, they are going to drive them away. They will throw these cases away, which is not right. The court should have autonomy and let the family court be open. Because when the family court is not open now, the children and the victims, they are t total weeks whereby the the filers are going on rampage at all times and it's, it's alarming, it's, it's not nice at all. So we want the courts to be open so that justice can be established. The protest took off from Uropota Hall at King Square and proceeded to the office of the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice where the protesters chanted solidarity songs and sought audience with the authorities of the Ministry of Justice. The leader of the group, Jennifer Ero, was livid with anger when they were not attended to as they were told that the commissioner was out of the office. Enough is enough of the silence of the state government. Has it not shown today? Yeah, we have been here for over many minutes, about more to 30 minutes. Nobody is responding. It means that the state government is not responding to this issue. Enough! 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 At the time of this report, the protesters had left the Ministry of Justice and marched to the government house. Pius Nsogo reporting.